Hello, everyone. It's Tuesday afternoon as I record our weekly video message for you. I am just a day after celebrating the Memorial Day weekend. My Monday included a whole rack of barbecue baby back ribs and a recipe of homemade mac and cheese from my mother's recipe box. I topped it all off with a nice nap. I hope each and every one of you had an opportunity to spend meaningful time and respite from the world's cares with family and friends. Again, I want to take a few moments with us this week to publicly recognize and say thank you to all the military families, all the men and women who have lost their life defending freedom and securing and sustaining the dignity of life and peace in the world that we all enjoy. I wrote as much in my crosstalk column published in last week's Beacon e-newsletter and portions of our worship on Sunday included prayers and songs on the same theme. So in addition to making again another public recognition of Memorial Day and what it means I also want to challenge us as people of faith. I want to challenge us as children of God. I want to challenge us as children of the light. You know, as a nation, we are very zealous and very patriotic and lift up as heroes our military men and women, especially those who have lost their life defending and achieving freedom and peace and dignity. My challenge for us as people of faith is this. As, are we as zealous? Are we as committed and convicted about the kingdom of God that is Christ Jesus crucified, resurrected, and promised to come again? Remember with me, as Jesus stood before Pilate, and Pilate was giving Jesus a hard time about what kind of king is he? What kind of kingship does Jesus rule over? What kind of kingdom is it that, that Jesus is talking and preaching and teaching and demonstrating? And Jesus says this to Pilate, words recorded in John's Gospel, the 18th chapter. My kingdom is not from this world. If my kingdom were from this world, my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Pilate asked Jesus, so are you a king? Jesus answered, you say that I am a king. For this I was born and for this I came into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. Pilate asked Jesus, what is truth? Friends and neighbors in Christ, as a nation, we are very zealous and very patriotic and lift up as heroes men and women who lose their life defending our country and our freedom and peace and the dignity of life. But are we as com convicted and committed and enthusiastic and as zealous about being members of God's kingdom today? You know, when, when we are called to help someone in need, a stranger, to feed them or to offer assistance on a highway or a byway or to come into close proximity with someone we might not recognize or someone who might need our help one of our first instincts is to preserve our own life what if i get hurt and indeed if someone gets hurt helping someone we call them a fool why is it then that when we lift up people defending this world they are heroes but people who defend a kingdom of peace and mercy are called fools, perhaps, when they might get hurt. 
friends and neighbors in Christ. As we transition from the season of Easter to Pentecost, may that spirit fill you. The same spirit that called the world into order, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, may that same spirit indwell in you that you might be as zealous about your faith, that you might be as zealous about Christ's kingdom of peace and justice and love and hope as we as a nation are about our military and our patriots. Final words for us today again from Scripture. Paul's letter to the Ephesians where he says this, For once you were in darkness, but now in the Lord you are light. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the life is found in all that is good and right and true. Try to find out what is pleasing to the Lord. Friends and neighbors in Christ, what is pleasing to the Lord is grace and mercy and service to our biblical neighbor. May you be so filled by the Spirit that we might together be convicted and committed to the kingdom of Christ Jesus that is about hope, peace, and justice for all people. God bless you in your week. Take care. God loves you. I love you. Amen.